Hi, so I'm going to show you how to create a top-down render right now uh, as a workaround. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower the walls to stop the automatic roof um, from covering uh, the view. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to lower the walls for your exterior facing walls. Uh, you can do them one at a time. Um, just change the measurement and press enter. Or um, another way, let me undo that real quick, is to disconnect the connecting walls uh, to the exterior facing wall. That way you only have to change the measurement once. Let me show you how to do that. Just disconnect it for a little second. Find all the connected walls to it. There we go. And now you change the measurement once as opposed to four times. That'll save you a lot of time. You can change it any value. As long as it's below the maximum ceiling height, the roof will not, the ceiling will not appear. And that's good for what we're going to be doing. I'm going to go ahead and speed up um, for this next part. So you show you all the rest of the walls. So now we're going to quickly move through and show you uh, the rest of the exterior walls. Well, it moves a lot faster when you can disconnect those. Um, there you go. And just one last wall here, disconnect. And then uh, I think I did this one for uh, just good measure. Uh, and now we're back in 3D. So now as you can see, if we zoom in, the ceiling doesn't appear. Um, which is all we want. So now the second stage of this, we are going to create a construction shape, a cube, and we're going to block out the area directly around the project so it doesn't show up in the 3D render. So we're going to edit it. The height is not really that important. Um, the width and the depth, we're going to set to 900. And then we're just going to place um, shapes and duplicate them. So let's go a little faster. Um, no particular order, just placing them around to make sure we are snug on the walls. Um, they should snap too pretty nicely. There we go. Um, everything's nice and flush. Now we just cover some holes. And one more, I think. Yeah, right there. Boom. Now we're back. So now we're ready to do the shot. So we're going to go through and set the avatar right about in the center. Open the camera settings. I'm going to change the camera direction directly to our feet and then try to align uh, the left or right edge to be uh, perpendicular or parallel. And now we just want to use the mouse scroll wheel back and forth. Uh, the reason it only goes backwards is because you're not allowed to go through the floor. So um, no matter the value, the mouse wheel makes you go backwards, uh, which is a neat little trick I found. Uh, and then you just zoom back till um, you see the whole property. Change the camera settings. The angle of the light is... is whatever makes your shot better um, or adds enough light to make it interesting and then uh, you just click render click right there yeah. and then it will quickly appear in your uh, project media tab so let's go over there and here is your top down render uh, the whole process took me about five minutes, uh, so it should be really simple to start getting these uh, shots across. Um, so now it's your turn. Give it a shot.